everybody, it's Lisa Burningham and I am so glad that you're here with me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to decorate your entryway for spring. I've got some great home decor to share with you and some awesome DIYs. A lot of them are super cheap and really easy. The first one that I'm going to show you how to make is this beautiful bird's nest frame. Now I got the frame from the Dollar Tree and that's the only money that I spent. I only spent $1 on this DIY. So I got the frame and then me and my sweet little daughter, my six year old, went on a little nature hunt outside. And we gathered up about 26 inch to one foot long twigs. And then I gave them a good wash to remove any dirt or bugs. I prefer my bugs to stay outside so that's one part of spring that i do not want in my house so i made sure that they were really really washed really well the twigs and then i let them air dry once my sticks were fully dry i got a general layout of where i wanted them to be i placed the sticks around the frame and then i got my hot glue gun and i put a line of hot glue directly onto the frame and then i placed my sticks right on top and pressed down firmly so they would stay in place. And then I continue to add hot glue and sticks to the frame. I like the fact that these sticks aren't straight and that the little curves and knots in them make it look a little more natural and help to resemble a bird's nest. After I was hot gluing everything into place, I let it dry and to make it look a little more natural, I got some of the smaller sticks and I put those basically in the corners where the straight sticks didn't reach all the way across the bottom or the sides of the frame. I continued hot gluing the sticks onto the frame until the frame was completely covered. After my sticks were all in place, I put some moss on. I got this moss at the Dollar Tree and I got some hot glue and I put it in the corners and in various spots around the frame. I just pressed that moss right onto it. And then also at the top, there was some places where you could still see the frame directly. And so I put some moss on top of the frame so you couldn't see the frame and it looked like everything was cohesive and one bird nest frame. This bird nest only cost me, like I said, $1 because I had everything that I needed or I foraged outside for it. So I have seen some frames, some twig frames online for $125 and I don't even like them as much as I like this frame. So go ahead and make your own frame. It's a perfect piece for spring and I really think that you'll like it. Now to keep with the really cheap theme, I found a picture online and I just printed it off. I searched for free spring bird printables and there were a lot of options that came up. I decided on this one. If you like this picture, I will leave a link to where I got it on the website so you can find it and just print it off. And that's what I did. And then I placed it inside of my frame to pull the look together. Now my spring decor is in collaboration with the lovely Heidi Sambal from Happily Thriving Heidi and her co-host Lindsay from Domer Home. This is a challenge, a spring decorate with me challenge. So if you want to see some amazing spring decor, go ahead and check out Heidi and Lindsay's channel. I'll leave a link to both of their channels in the description box below, as well as a link to the playlist so you can check out all of the participants and see what they came up with. Now the first thing that I'm adding to my table is this beautiful apothecary jar. I got this at Home Goods. It was only $12.99. I saw this. I didn't even have to think about it to get in my cart. You're coming home with me. So I'm putting this jar on top of a box. This box I wrapped in gold wrapping paper and I put a cream ribbon around the center. I love using boxes like these because they add a lot of interest and height variation to my home decor. Also, it helps it so when I place the jar on top, you can easily see it and nothing's going to be blocking it. Now I also have this second jar. It's a little bit smaller. I'm gonna place it in front of my larger jar. And then inside of these, I got these beautiful eggs from Walmart last year. Do you see how pretty those are? They've got these little wooden roses and some blue speckled eggs. They were only $3.98 a piece, so they were a great bargain. I actually hope they have some more this year because I want some more. And they're the perfect size to place right inside of my apothecary jars. My 
My second DIY are these painted plastic eggs. I got a set of 18 at the Dollar Tree, but they were not the color that I wanted, so I decided to paint them in two different ways. The first way is this gold egg. Now I just got some spray paint and I took my little eggs outside and I opened them up. This is very important because as you're spray painting them, if they're laying flat on your piece of paper, they won't go rolling anywhere. And then also they get really great coverage because you can paint the entire egg at one time. So I sprayed a few coats of paint on the eggs until they were covered and then I let them fully dry. I painted my second egg in this light blue craft paint that I got from Michaels. I used a sponge brush and I painted a few coats of paint on it until you could no longer see the original egg color. And then I also wanted some gold flecks. I just love the way that the little speckles look on the eggs. So again, I used some gold craft paint and a pretty cheap toothbrush and I dipped the toothbrush bristles into the gold paint and then I flicked it all over the eggs. I let it dry and then I turned the eggs over and I repeated the process. I dipped the toothbrush into the paint and I flicked the gold paint over the eggs to get the pretty little speckles. Paint was such a cheap and easy way to make these Dollar Tree eggs look high end. I'm going to add these eggs to this glass vase. I alternated between gold and blue eggs and filled the vase to the very top. After I place my speckled eggs and my gold eggs into the bottom of my vase, I'm going to add in some dogwood branches that I got at the Dollar Tree and some little willow branches that I got at Michael's. If this is the first time that you're visiting my channel, welcome, I'm Lisa. I do DIYs and home decor on my channel. I post weekly videos and I would love to have you join me, so please subscribe. Now what is a spring display without a beautiful bird cage that I spruced up with a variety of bows? I got three different varieties of spring ribbons. I cut my ribbon into a 24 inch segment and made three identical loops. Then I took a three inch segment of floral wire and wrapped it around each of the three loops and then twisted the wire together in the back to secure the loops together. I repeated the process with the blue plaid ribbon. I cut a longer 30 inch segment of ribbon this time because I made five identical loops. Again, I used a three inch piece of floral wire to wrap around the loops to secure them in place. My last two ribbons are made from a cream and gold chevron ribbon, which I'm simply going to tie into a bow. Now that all four of my ribbons are made, I'm going to place them all together. I intertwine the loops and place the chevron bows on each side of the larger bows, and then got another segment of floral wire and twisted the wire around the entire bow to secure it all together. Once my bow was completely formed, I wired it onto the top of my birdcage using that same floral wire. At the bottom of my birdcage, I'm gonna make a little nest. Now I got this raffia from the Dollar Tree. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna unwrap it and then I'm going to twist it around into a circle, kind of like a bird's nest. And then I'm also going to add some sparkly lights. These are just little twinkle lights, just battery operated lights, and I'm going to wrap those around my little bird nest too, because how cute would that be at night to have a little bird's nest light up? I simply placed my little bird's nest in the bottom of the bird cage. Now that my little raffia bird's nest and the lights are in the bottom of the bird cage, I'm going to add in this little bird house that I made a few weeks ago. If you wanna see how I made this, I will leave a link in the description box. I'm just gonna open this cage right back up and place the bird house right inside. 
To add another bit of height variety, I'm going to place my birdhouse on top of another one of these gold wrapping paper wrapped up boxes. As a center point and focal piece to my design, I'm going to add this bird's nest frame that we made earlier. I'm going to place it on top of a iron frame holder that will add a little bit of extra height and some detail to the bottom of the frame. Now that all of my large pieces are in place, I'm going to add a few little small things throughout the tablescape. Now I've got these little mini grapevine wreaths at Michael's. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that same raffia that I put in my bird cage. I'm going to wrap it up into a little circular form and I'm going to put it in the center of the grapevine wreath. Essentially, I'm just plugging it up so I can add another one of those beautiful painted eggs that we made earlier. Also, I didn't mind that the raffia was draping over the wreath a little bit because it kind of adds to that unkempt look that a bird's nest would have. I love decorating my foyer for the changing seasons and holidays. This area is the first place your guests will see as they enter your home. And for spring, I wanted my foyer to be a bright, cheerful reminder of this beautiful time of spring. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got some inspiration so that you can start decorating your home for spring. Thank you so much for watching.